hello everybody and welcome back thank you for joining me today we're going to take a look at the demo of cross code this is a retro inspired jrpg from the 16-bit error i have had my eye on this for quite a long time it's a little bit older of a game the one thing that's kind of been limiting me and wanting to show it off is that the steam page says it's a 30 hour game a 50 hour completionist i'm not a completionist by any stretch of the imagination but even 30 hours would be a very long series a very untypical long series on this channel so i thought i'd take a look at the demo here while I have a, an extra slot open and let you all decide. I don't have to do a complete playthrough. I could do a little mini series. If you guys like what you see, let me know either by giving me a thumbs up or saying something in the comments down below and we can get the game and explore a little bit more of it. Maybe do a mini series and possibly if it's something that goes really well do the a full playthrough i'll leave that up to you and let you guys decide what you would like to see but for now let's check out the demo let's get in here and do a, a new game and see what this game's all about I know you can hear me. Where is he? Suzuka, I have to ask you to leave. So you keep him here. What do you think you are doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So you abduct a dying person and let him work until his last breath? Is that it? I will go and talk some sense to him. Don't get in my way. I like how they did the dialogue there. That's really cool that you saw the the dialogue as it goes up and you see new dialogue come in under old dialogue, which is really cool. So that you kind of keep track of what's been said. Usually in RPGs, what was said disappears. So I'm kind of interested to see that develop more and how that actually works. I like how they did that. Ooh. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? Oh, dodge and left button. That would be like that one. There we go. Attack, right button to attack. Okay, cool. This is an action RPG. I definitely like that. I typically like action RPGs better than turn-based ones i have ran into a few on the channel and have enjoyed them more than what i would initially thought but overall i do like action rpgs better i like how her hair flows back too it's little things in games that really makes a difference i think and the, her hair going back like that and her arms going back as she's run is really cool little touch You know this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that. You won't listen. Oh, whoa, we got some cold based. How very creative. <laughs> I like how the sprite there is changing depending on her, her expression. Ooh, a lot of damage here. I just trying not to get smacked pretty hard here. That's that's one thing I'm trying to avoid here is getting totally wasted. I like how it's set up to do the bumpers as the attack. I find that a little bit interesting. Here we go. Heat to weak. How? The weak to heat. How surprising. English it's hard to read almost there if you interrupt him all of his hard work will be lost don't do this so it never should have happened in the first place 
Ooh, we got some more creatures. Uh oh, okay. This is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. Charge, press and hold right trigger. That was pretty cool. I like that. That was really cool. That was an awesome move. You can throw as many enemies at me as you like. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. I wonder who this guy I'm talking to is. That's kind of interesting. I mean, it seems to me that she knows who it is, but we really don't have a good knowledge of who he is yet. I like the artwork here, that rooms in the area is pretty cool. Satoshi? Sister. What do you think you are doing? You are in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. I finished this and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi, stop it. It is done. Oh, wow. He just killed over, didn't he? No! He looks pretty beat up, too. Sekuta, Se Suzuka, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got you involved with this. Just promise me that you will get away, please. Oh man, that's that's a harsh start to the game. <laughs> you go in to save your brother and he dies on you. Wow. That's kind of cool though. This artwork is really cool. I like it a lot. I wonder if it has like a cyber, what cyberpunk kind of idea because computers are not typically something that are in JRPGs. So I'm interested to see some kind of cyber aspect of the game and how that's going to work out. There you are, initialization successful. So you're in a game? Oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Apparently, well, something had to go wrong. But you understand me, correct? Okay, we will make it work somehow. What is going on? You are probably confused about this situation, correct? All right, let us take small steps. Yeah, let's take some small steps so I can understand what's going on. Do you remember VRPs? Virtual ricochet projectiles. Yeah, that didn't help me any <laughs> at all either. Balls? Okay, you seem to remember. Carla, we are ready. Please initiate the training sequence. Is this some kind of virtual reality? What in the world? VRPs are your most essential tool and weapon. They're basically like balls. Your task is to hit all these robots with VRPs. So give it a shot or rather a throw. Right button to throw. Right to aim. Oh. Okay, we were using our left to oh our left to run around and we can throw with the right. Ah, I gotcha. Nice work. She just seems very proud of herself. Well, just to be sure, let us repeat this exercise with an extended distance. Uh, <laughs> that expression really is very good. Just, you really easily can tell what she means and the conveys the thought of what she's doing. Okay, so right button to hit the button, okay. 
I can do this. This is going to be a little tricky. Oh, uh, yeah, got that one. There we go. I can hold that down too. The hold the right button down, the right bumper down, it keeps on sh throwing them a bunch. Very good. Okay, next, let us enable the charge mode. You activated charged VRPs by aiming for a longer time. Let us practice right away. So we charge them? Charge mode allows for throwing of larger VRPs. Those charged VRPs will ricochet on walls. That is the reason for the name you see. You can hit the target with the red circle. So we aim over here and then like, here we go. Enough practice. It is about time we put you down on your feet. I wonder if that first cut scene was a, like the, the end of this process. And this is the beginning. Carla, we are done here. You can terminate the flotation sequence. So like, you got the end of the story and now we've got to go through the story. Hey there, girl. Welcome to our cozy cargo hold. My name's Carla. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I can't talk. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently there is an issue with her speech synchronization. She still understands us though. No way. Is there a way to fix this? I do not know yet. I will have to look into that. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Nonverbal communication, you know? a girl. Still kind of would like to know your name. Sergi, can you help us out here? Right, her name is Leah. So we don't know... The guy at the beginning said sister. We don't know whose sister was. This is the same the same sprite that they were using in the first cutscene, but I'm not sure, not sure exactly if this is Leah and the same person. Leah, well, ain't that sweet. Well then, Leah, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming, ball throwing and the like, you know? If she's a robot, then what is she made for? And all I got, and I got just the thing prepared for you. Follow me. Hmm. So we can access the pause menu. Oh, I like that. So the we can go back through the chat. Yeah, huh, interesting. Only it seems for so far though. Hmm, interesting. What are we doing? All right, let's get started. She's wearing some goggles now. Your task is to reach the door at the other end of this room. And don't mind me, I'll just stick around and keep an eye on you. Well, I might give you some hints if you ask nicely, you know. Oh man. Do we have arrows over here? Oh. Oh, cool. That's kind of cool. I can auto jump on some stuff. It looks like. Oh Yeah, never mind the visor. I just need this to see what you're doing Do not worry about it for now. We will explain it to you later on. That's really weird Why would you have a visor like that? Can I jump up? No, it doesn't look like I jump up there Can I hit this? Throw a ball at it or something? I feel there is something I need to do with this, but none of my buttons are doing anything. Jump. I get up there, but I can't get over this. And I don't really need to go down. Can I jump up? I can't jump up on that either. 
This is weird. I need to get through this somehow. Let's see what she says, I guess. Need a hint? You need to find and remove a way to remove the wall. Basic stuff, Leah. You need something to throw balls. You'll need to throw balls at something. That is all I'm going to say. Well, I got that. What was it to aim the balls again? I got the throwing of the balls, but it doesn't seem like that's my money. Oh, that's right. I forgot that the right analog stick was the aiming thing. That's the problem. There we go. So it's over there. I can't throw a ball at that or through that. I don't probably don't. Oh, I guess I can. That's kind of cool. Can I throw a ball at that? Oh, who I could break that up. Well, that makes it a little bit easier here. I could throw through the yellow, but not the blue. Can I ricochet it around? I think that's the idea here. Ah, there we go. Did something there. I did something. Can I jump? I like that auto jump. That's really cool. There's something, I don't know, very interesting and neat about that. Shoot. Can I jump up? Oh, can I? There we go. And then I'm going to need this one over here. But how am I going to be able to? Oh, I'm going to have to shoot. Can I, can I get it from here? There we go. That's cool. I like that. Whee. Entering the next stage, more switches. So, hmm. Do I need like a powered up? Yeah. Either I need to hit it multiple times or have one powered up. Are you sure? And that's what the ball thing. I just like throwing the balls everywhere. That's kind of cool. We're gonna. Can I get up? I could even just get around there. So I need to charge it up and then shoot. Oh, I have to shoot it so many times to like power it up. Hey, finally, this is one's my favorite. Here you can go wild on these mouse robots. It's moving target practice. Have fun, girl. There we go. I kind of like the range shooting here. Can I hit these things at all? <laughs> I'm not hitting them very well, I don't think. Got them all. Oh, I didn't kill them all. Oh, there's some up there. How are we going to... That is... Oh, oh, oh maybe I can do this jump here. Got that one. Now, can I make that jump? Awesome. Yep, got to kill them all and it'll open it up for us. Can I jump? Moving on. So it looks like we've got... Oh, there's a wall there. Oh, there's mice everywhere too as well. Mice robots. Mice robots! Those, but how are we going... Oh, okay, those... I was thinking there was going to be more there where I had to kill the ones on the other side of the wall. I could actually charge it up too and probably do more damage to them. Oh, there might actually be mice in here too. I was wondering where there were, where the mice were because there wasn't enough there. Welcome to the Rat Fortress. Standing unpenetrated for centuries. And then we're going to have to go over here to get these. It looks like. Yep. Ah, look at that. We got them all. Oh, wait, we didn't. Oh, there's a there's a little bear, uh, chest over there. There we go. That's all of them.
Whoa, slow down there, girl. Just a short warning. Here you'll meet your first real enemies. By real, I mean those things will, in fact, attack you. Don't get wrong, they're real easy, but still, if you don't beat down, your respawn point is right in this room. Respawn point? Just a moment, let me enable the dash module before we get started. Dash is essential in battle since it helps you to quickly dodge enemy attacks at any time. Right he is, now please enter to the right in order to proceed with the butt kicking. So is the dash to say, okay. You only dash up to three times in a row. Oh, I didn't want to go away. We're ready. Got one. Oh. You gotta charge. I can charge it up, but I'm just gonna th lay down the fire to see if I can get him down really quick. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. That wasn't too hard. I'm interested in this th this whole attack here is different than what I did in the first part so I'm a little confused hey champ get your drilling down again for a second we got to add a bit more edgy arsenal a sharp one that is I see you that got your attention Sergi you finished yes unlocking virtual proximity impact now melee activated with those close combat strikes you can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once only them close ones of course you got that sharp as a blade now start by clearing the path for us ah there we go so we could just swing with our sword or we can aim and shoot with the balls yeah i know a second weighted is an attack wasted still you should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some hostile attacks so you can just pummel your opponents while without giving them a chance to strike back so basically we'd stun lock them Sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get him. Oh. Eh! Right button. No, wait, what am I doing? Right button. There we go. Don't aim. Got a little hurt up there. They didn't even see it coming. I don't know about that. They definitely saw something coming. So I can get him trapped in the corner here and just stun lock them, really. Now what's in here? We got some walls to worry about. I keep them in front of me and not let them get behind me is really... I need to start dodging too. Probably be a good idea. When there's just a lot of them, it's hard to dodge them. You kind of just got to swing and beat them down. And you just crossed the finish line. Congrats. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. Oh my, you still look so puzzled about all this. I suppose it is about time we explain all the circumstances. You bet it is, but let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leah as well. Good idea. Better to not keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah, right this way. Very, very intrigued by this whole setup here. Where's the boss? All right, up to the bridge. Oh yeah, Leah, just heads up. Don't worry about the captain being a bit on the grumpy side. That's just the way he is. <laughs> Captain, I'm back with the report. 
I see. Go on. The initiation, a total cinch. Here's the avatar. Name's Leah. Hi. Hard to miss that last. Hope you didn't run into everything with those horns there. <laughs> what? <laughs> she did. She didn't even know that. <laughs> that's <laughs> that, that's so funny. Wait. Don't tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leah. <laughs> I love those sprites. They are too good. Anyway, make sure you clean up that mess you started down in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Captain. I hope Sergi is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just let me set up your headset for a sec. Hello there, Jet. My good man, it's been a long time. Indeed, you are still clinging to that jetpack I see. You know I never travel the sea without good old Betty. Anyway, I hope you two will be ready to travel on soon. An avatar on board just calls for darn trouble. Of course, we will make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Also, we ain't talking to Jet, former VRP Doolin champ. Aren't we talking to Jet, former VRP Doolin champ? You keep telling us about all your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leah a small combat lesson. You're telling me that we lass is up for a battle? Oh, you bet she is. Right, we'll see about that. Just talk to me later today. Sweet! Now then, you're excused. You can show the lass around the ship, but don't you stir up any trouble. All right, Captain. What is she? What is Leah? I still don't know. Come on, Leah. It's time for some fresh air. It sounds like we're on a boat. But, like, what is she? Welcome aboard the MS Solar. We are on a boat. A very, very large cargo boat. Ship, I guess I should say. Quite the ship, huh? You know, the view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond the bow. We're currently steering towards Rhombus Square. That's something to look at. Actually, why not go to the bow and explain the situation to Leah there? Seeing Ramba Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Yeah, good thinking, Sergi. Follow me, Leah. Well, 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 I am thoroughly confused right now. Oh wait, we're back in the cargo hole. What? There she is, the Avatar. And she's a Spheromancer class. How awesome is that? Looks like you got your first fan, Leah. Hey there, Carla. Good to see you. About all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now I have to take care of the avatar, you know? I'll do it later today, okay? See you later. There she goes again. She said exactly the same thing yesterday. A spheromancer, so awesome. Huh. Interesting. That was just straight ahead. It's a bit of a walk though. Just follow me. how to use those things destructible boxes should have done that somewhere else not the cargo hold now girl have a look at this that guy right there behind us that's bald is a little weird i don't know there's something about him but those look like solar panels Ooh, that's an interesting looking city okay how to start this? How about welcome to Cross Worlds? 
One step at a time, Carla. Leah, do you remember the concept of a MMOG? Massively multiplayer online game? Is that what they're talking about? I'm gonna say no just to make sure. Well, MMOG stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Game. I was right. It is a video game that supports a large number of players simultaneously. Usually all these players are connected to a virtual environment from all around the world. Now, Cross Worlds is like an MMOG just with one striking difference. It's real? The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. These avatars have a physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses to the player. Wow, that's kind of interesting. And you, Leo, are currently logged into this game as well. A game within a game, interesting. But she doesn't remember, so is it kind of like... What is um, that movie, Matrix? Is it kind of that idea with the Matrix crossed with a MMOG? Oh, me? No, I'm not a player, I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar on this whole ship. So, wait a minute. So there's real world, I'm confused. This is correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossworlds. The actual game takes place in the land you see over there, the playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to recover it. You see, you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be going to that glass palace. You'll be going to the glass palace of a city over there. I like how the text boxes are offset there. I think that's the first time I noticed that so you can see who's talking. That's Rhombus Square. It's where all players start. So it's like a mix of real life and virtual. So this avatar is a physical entity within this world. And the, the lady there is a real person. But then people can plug into the game in quotes and become this physical avatar. What it sounds like. Well, I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? A little bit. All right, then. I think this is a good time to split. I'm going to go talk to the captain and help him set up the combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, you can have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, just make sure not to fall into the water. Okay. By the way, Leah, I had a closer look at those speech synchronization issues. Unfortunately, I do not think I will be able to fix them soon. Oh man. However, I found a little workaround. I might be able to hard code specific audio patterns into your speech module. That means you'll be able to say certain words. So I feel that she's, for lack of a better term, a robot in a real world. Then this robot is connected to a person, a player, somewhere in the world. But what's interesting is that the player and the robot are physically connected, said all five senses are connected. So they're in some kind of matrix like pod or machine of some sort 
so that they connect to this robot. That should help a bit, correct? Let us try it out. Hi? Oh, I can say hi, yeah. I'm just gonna say hi. It works, that should help you start some conversations with the crew here. Yeah, I can say hi at least. Well, wow, this is very interesting. I like the solar panels here. Obviously, there's a lot of people I'm supposed to go talk to and kind of just explore. It's like your beginning city. You're supposed to go talk to people, get a sense of the world, that sort of stuff. Dude, I know you're new around here, but really, you got to be more relaxed. What? Just because I was too quick about cleaning duty? I have no idea where I'm going, but it looks like I'm running through a bunch of cargo. Oh, I'm probably behind the cargo over there. I gotcha, I gotcha. I think this is a good place to, can I go up the ladder? I wanna know if I can go up the ladder, nope. I like how the little speech bubble comes up so that you know that you can talk to the people. Does my dad, my dad still works up here. I think this is a good place to stop this. I would actually like to explore more of this game. The concept here is very intriguing and very interesting. So if you kind of like the idea here, would like to see this develop more, let me know down in the comments or give me a nice thumbs up. If you don't, let me know down in the comments as well because YouTube's doing something weird with the thumbs down. Thumbs down won't, are not counted or something. So comment if you do or do not want to see any more of this game and we'll maybe do at least a little mini series of it thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all in the next episode bye everybody